What's up everyone, welcome back. In this question, we have to sketch this function here and state the domain and range. So, like the questions before, first thing we gotta figure out, what's the parent function? Parent function in this case is two to the power of x. So, we wanna make a table for that. Let's use x values of negative one, zero, and one. So this would be 0 0.5, one, and two. Next, what we want to do is we want to rearrange this to be in the proper transformation format. Everything is except the exponent. We got to factor out a k value. So in this case, we have 1 half x minus 1 in the exponent. So if we factor out this 1 half, we'll be left with what? x minus 2. Basically, 1 divided by 1 over 2. That's like 1 over 1 divided by 1 over 2, which is like 1 over 1 times 2 over 1, right? The reciprocal of that, which just gives us 2, which is how I got that. And then you can check your answer too. If you distribute this in the bracket, 1 half times x is 1 half x, 1 half times negative 2 is negative 1, right? So this goes in the exponent, so we'll have 1 half x minus 2 minus like that. So from here we could tell what's the a value. A value is 3, k value is 1 half, d value is positive 2, c value is minus 3. So we're going to take this table and we're going to transform it with the formula x over k plus d a y plus c. So all the x values are going to divide by a half. Now when you divide something by a half that's like multiplying it by 2. So you could just write 2x. But you could also write x over 1 half if you feel more comfortable just putting that whole k value in the bottom. Right? This and this they're the same thing. And then we're going to add that d value of 2. Um, all the y values multiply by 3 and then we're going to subtract the c value of 3. So taking these x values, putting it through this, 2 times negative 1 is negative 2 plus 2 is 0. 2 times 0 plus 2, that gives us 2. 2 times 1 plus 2 gives us 4. And then 3 times 0. 0.5, that gives us 1.5. Minus 3 gives us negative 1.5. 3 times 1 minus 3, that gives us 0. 3 times 2 minus 3 gives us 3. So we have these points, let's, uh, let's graph them. So the y values is a mix of positive and negative, and then all the x values are positive. So one, two, three, four. Let's actually extend this a little bit more, five. And then uh, let's do one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, like that. Okay, so zero, negative 1.5. Actually, sorry, before we plot the points, I want to plot the horizontal asymptote. So C value, negative 3, that is down here. So Y equals negative 3. 0, negative 1.5, that would be over here. 2 and 0, that's like here. Then 4 and 3, that's like up here. So basically, this is like an exponential curve that's coming down like that. Right? If, um, just thought I would mention, if you have an asymptote, whether up there or down here, basically it's all an exponential curve. It's always going to look like this or like that. Or if it's below, it's going to look something like this or look something like that. And these could be shifted left or right. Okay, so it's always going to take one of these four shapes. So this one takes this shape. It's just shifted a little bit to the right, which makes sense because the D value is positive too. Okay, so from here, domain x is an element of real numbers, 
or in set notation, x is an element between negative infinity and positive infinity. Range, y is an element of real numbers, but y has to be greater than negative 3. So y would be an element from negative 3 to positive infinity, right? Graph, domain, and range.